Columbus, Ohio, Simon Labozetta typically forages in nearby wooded areas for wild mushroom varieties to eat or sassafras herbs to put in tea, but in the coming weeks, he'll add another item to his search list. It'll add some crunch to his diet, but it's something he's been waiting years to try, 17 years to be exact. With brood X cicadas expected to arrive by the millions in 16 states this month, La Bozetta and others with adventurous palates will savor the rare opportunity to taste the little buggers, which some have hailed as the shrimp of the dirt for its seafood-like flavors. He's not holding his breath, however, that it will taste like buttery shrimp scampi. For me, it's the novelty of the experience, said the 48-year-old Columbus, Ohio, resident who has been foraging since he was a child. I love to have new experiences, to travel, to see things. The curiosity is there. And the desire to eat the insects might also be about saving face on social media, too, where he's mentioned the fact that they're edible more than once. But who isn't talking about cicadas on Facebook and Twitter these days? From artisans making jewelry out of the loud-winged creatures to scientists trying to predict when they'll arrive, typically when temperatures average 64 degrees, social media is a buzz with all things cicadas. And yes, that also means people are swapping cicada recipes, including Asian-inspired cuisine, a gumbo-like dish, chocolate-covered varieties and even a version of rhubarb pie. Some describe their taste as nutty or similar to that of chicken. Andrew Zimmern, creator of the Travel Channel's Bizarre Foods franchise, said the insects have a bold flavor. They're earthy, loomy, sour. Zimmern said. They've been living in the ground for 17 years, kind of like the taste of the forest floor. It's a strong taste, but not in a bad way. It stands up to the big flavors of garlic and ginger. And he should know, those are two of the ingredients in his recipe for crispy wok fried cicadas that he made in 2013 when Brood 2 came to the East Coast. He said that although the whole creature is edible, people should remove the wings, if they've matured, and it's the chef's choice whether to leave the outer shell, or carapace, depending on if they want an extra crunchy addition to their dish. The best cicadas for cooking are those that have newly hatched, because their shells will be softer, according to Cicadalicious. Cooking and Enjoying Periodical Cicadas, a mini cookbook created by Jenna Jaden, who was a graduate student at the University of Maryland in 2004. The manual advises that early morning is the best time to catch the bugs emerging and to simply go outside with a brown paper bag and start scooping them in. Adventurous chefs can cook with them immediately after cleaning them and removing any unwanted parts, or refrigerate them.